Part 12, its habitat. Generally speaking, dogmen have been seen occupying abandoned buildings on city outskirts or abandoned mines, tunnels, caves, and wells, the latter discussed in episode 58 of Dogman Encounters. Additionally, they've been seen in burial grounds, canopy forests, cemeteries, cornfields, foothills, nature reserves, national forests, ghost towns, and government protected land less traveled. Finally, in a camouflaged hole in the ground, mounds, sewers, and swamps. And they tend to be sighted in areas with big coyote populations. They also possibly create wooden structures. They also seem to build beaver-like mounds 12 to 15 feet high, as the one discussed in Dogman Encounters episode 107, which had three chambers, the first being an entrance, the second an area to eat, and the third led to an underground chamber. They also built stick structures from snapped off large sticks. Their dens or mounds are usually by water sources, like within two miles of them. They can live in the same area as Bigfoot if geological features separate them, like a river. Strangely, they have even been seen in the city limits of Chicago, Cincinnati, Columbus, Ohio, and Dallas. It was speculated in Dogman Encounters episode 136 that they live in giant Iceland caverns carved out by volcanoes. And coincidentally, they live in towns with Fayette in the name, like Lafayette. One can be certain a dogman is in the area because they mark their territory with a putrid death smell. 